Hey everybody, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Jay Ross, finally back with another video. It has been a while, I know. I've been thinking of a lot of creative ideas to be doing and hopefully this is one that actually sticks and it actually keeps going. So this new series that I'm thinking of, I do not know if somebody's already had the title. I've seen many people do comparison videos all the time but so i just wanted to kind of bring a comparison video series to my channel and this one is going to be called this versus that this versus that basically meaning this product versus that product um and what i'm going to be comparing today as you guys can tell in the title is the new maybelline super stay foundation stick um this is the basically the stick foundation of the super stay 24 hour liquid foundation that they have and i'm basically i'm just going to be comparing for the women of color, people of color, anybody in general who wants to know which is better to have in your collection. So I do have the stick foundation in 360 Mocha as well as I do have the liquid foundation in the shade 360 Mocha. I've already reviewed this foundation. As you guys can tell, the cap is extremely dirty, but I have already opened this and I have not reviewed it on my channel, but I have worn it compared to this already and I already have my deep thoughts on it, but to bring it to you guys, I just wanted to show you guys, this is why it's already open. Um, first and foremost, before I even get into this video, this sponge sucks. I just want to clear that out. This sponge sucks. Whatever. I'm, I'm just going to say that's just, that's going to be the first blatant thing I'm going to say about this whole, this whole of this for that video. This sponge sucks. I wet the brush. It sucked. I kept it dry. It sucked. I tried to, you know, you know, squish a little bit to get this off and up. It still sucks. So I'm just letting you guys know, don't try the sponge. It sucks. Um, so we just gon' just gon' go ahead. I will enter the clip if I can find the clip of me trying to apply this foundation with the uh sponge. All right, and I, I'm already tired of that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish and blending out with the same brush I just used for the Super, the super Stay Liquid. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my ultimate blending brush and blend that out. So in place of this sponge, what I am going to do is use my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which I use pretty much all the time to blend it out. And then on the other side of my face with this, I have used it with the brush before and I liked it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this side with the brush this side with the sponge because it comes with a sponge applicator so I'm going to use the sponge to apply it and see where we go and if I don't like it then I will use the brush and do what I got to do. The only Maybelline primer that I do have is the pore eraser primer but I do not like that primer whatsoever so I want to give this foundation a fair chance and if you guys have been watching my videos lately what I usually do for a priming base is to spray my face and today I'm going to spray it with the Smashbox Priming Water, I usually go back and forth between this and the Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty products, spraying mist and all that stuff. But today I'm gonna to use the Smashbox Priming Water, which I did use in this video of me testing this out and it worked really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use it for the stick foundation and hope it does the same thing. While this is drying down, let me go ahead and thank the few of you that entered my giveaway from my last video. I was giving away the makeup by Tammy collaboration with Revolution Beauty and her Tropical Paradise eyeshadow palette. Please let me just go ahead and thank you guys that answered. The people who did win were notified and their palettes are being sent to them. I had a little back order problem situation with the you know USA Revolution Beauty site but we ain't gonna talk about that. But I did want to thank you guys personally for watching that video subscribing, commenting, as well as entering the giveaway. You guys probably entered just for the giveaway, but I hope you guys are still subscribed to my channel and I hope you guys still enjoy the content that I'm gonna be publishing on my channel. All right, so now that my primer has finally settled and I have done my thank yous because I was raised mannerably, so I wanted to say thank you to you guys again. But let's just go ahead and get into the stick foundation. I am going to place the stick foundation on this side of my face and hope for the absolute best in this video and let's just go ahead and get into it. Oh, by the way, for those of you wondering, this is how much product you get. I did put a couple swipes on my face as you guys can tell and I basically did the same amount of swipes when I first tried this and this is still how much product you get. Not that much, but meh. Now that my sponge is damp, I am going to go ahead and blend this in. All 
All right, so this is what the coverage looks like on my face with just that first layer of swipes, if that's what you wanna call it. But I do kind of wanna apply one more layer of swipes on my face just to see how buildable it actually is. If that layer doesn't come off with me swiping more. All right, so that is the second layer of the coverage. And then now on my other side of the face, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the liquid version of this foundation. Like I said I've, before, I've already reviewed this foundation, so I'm not gonna get into too deep with this foundation, but I am just gonna go ahead and apply it like I normally would. All right, so that is what the foundation looks like on my face on both sides. This is the liquid foundation. And then this side is the thick version of the Super Stay Foundation. I am going to let this sit for about a good 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna come back to you guys and let you guys know what it looks like when it settles down and then we'll talk about my thoughts afterwards. So the thick version of the Super Stay Foundation is $11.99 on the Maybelline.com website and the Super Stay Liquid Foundation is $11.99 as well on the Maybelline dot com website for the price point they both tie out the stick foundation has 16 shades and the liquid foundation has 24 shades 16 on the maybelline.com website but there are shades on the ulta website that are exclusive just to ulta so in total 24 shades for this 16 shades for this so apparently the liquid foundation wins the shade matchup. Another comparison is how they feel on the face. They do feel both lightweight on the face, but I can say I feel the liquid foundation less than I do the stick foundation. This is kind of a heavier cream. It's not extremely heavy, but I can feel this more on my face than I can feel this one. But overall, I do still like both of them in the coverage wise, as well as the price range wise, as well as the shade range wise. I hope they extend both, get rid of this um, sponge on the end and increase the amount of product that you get because you do get more product than that, which is also something else that is compared to. So this has more product. This is full coverage transfer resistant. This is full coverage as well, but does not claim to be transfer resistant or oil free. Overall, what would I say? Would I recommend both? Yes, yes I would for different skin types. If you are oily combination like me or oily girl at all, just be careful when you use the stick foundation. If you get the shade that is deep enough for you to cream contour, that is com completely fine. But if you're using this as an all over face, it's not for oily skin summer wear look this is not that type of foundation even with powder even with the mattifying setting spray it turned into a slick mess like maybe a couple hours after if you are oily skin like your girl is please be very careful when wearing this because this will hit you like crazy. The stick foundation will start to get slick. Please be very careful. If you are a dry skin, you may like this a little bit more, but be careful if you do not warm this up to your skin at first, it can seem to feel a little bit rough on the skin. I did notice that before it warmed up to my skin, it did feel a little bit rough. So be warned of that. Feel free to comment down below what you guys want me to compare next. Which one do you like if you have tried the stick foundation versus the liquid foundation? But go ahead and take the poll up above to let me know what you guys like on my face. Do you like the stick foundation or do you like the liquid foundation? Once again, I'm your girl Jay Ross. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.